Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE Fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review Room. So, Room stars Brie Larson and Jacob Tryback. And what this film is about it's about, you know, Brie Larson and her son, you know, played by Jacob Tryback. And what happens is, is they are been, been trapped in this room for seven years, you know, by this guy, and once they get out of this room, you know, they escape one day, the boy, he's not used to the real world, because he's just used to this one room that he's been stuck in for seven years, so, all this is new to him, so yeah, so, what did I think of, uh, Room? I liked it. Yeah, I just liked it. I didn't love it like a lot of people. I know this movie's getting critical praise. Some people are saying it's a masterpiece. Uh, me, I'm just like, I liked it. It was good. So yeah. But let's get into my positives. And my positives are the acting. The acting is good here. It's just good. It's not great, but it's good. You know, Brie Larson is good. She's she's good in the film. I think I thought she did a good job, but yep, here comes the bombshell. I don't think her performance is um like award worthy. Yeah, I, I just don't think so. I didn't think this performance was absolutely incredible. Honestly, I've seen better performances from actresses this year. Honestly, I can name you like five that were better than Brie Larson. I'm being honest, but she was still good in the film, and I still think she did a good job, even though at times I did hate her character, which I'll get more into later, but she was still good in the film. I thought she still get, did a good job, so yeah. Jacob Tribeck, I'll admit, he's probably the standout out of everybody in terms of the acting. He was really good here, honestly, even though there were parts where I hated his character too. Like I said, we'll get into that more later, but I still thought he did a good job. He was really good in the film, and, you know... Uh, he, he, I think he's definitely the standout of everybody. He was a tremendous as well, but he, but he was mostly the standout, I will say, of the actors, so yeah. Everyone else is good, I really enjoyed them, they did a good job in the film, so yeah. I like the whole concept of, you know, a boy who has never seen the real world, and, you know, who's been stuck in this room for years, and, you know, he's now, when he gets out, he needs to get used to this new world. The only time I ever saw something like that, remember that Brendan Fraser movie, Blast from the Past? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you don't. But, it was the, kind of the same concept. This guy has been stuck in this, like, underground place for years. And once, you know, he becomes an adult, they let him go. And, you know, he needs to get used to the real world. So, I like that concept that's really cool I liked seeing this development of seeing this kid getting used to the real world that was really cool so yeah there were some emotional moments in the film I will give it that there were some emotional parts not something that's gonna make me cry but just there were emotional moments I will give it that so yeah this movie does have one of the most intense scenes I think I've seen in a 2015 movie because I don't really want to spoil what the scene is, but it was intense, and I will give it that as well, so yeah. The writing was really good, I thought there was some really good writing in the film, the directing, the directing was really good as well, some really nice directing in my opinion, so yeah. The pacing, the pacing was good for the most part, honestly, you know, some very good pacing, um, didn't really feel bored a lot throughout the film, so yeah. Let's get into my negatives, because I do, unfortunately, have a lot of negatives with this film. And my negatives are, I couldn't stand the first 30 minutes to this film. I hated it. I couldn't stand the first 30 minutes. If the, if the rest of the movie was like the first 30 minutes, this could have been one of the worst films of 2015. And I'm being serious on that, because I couldn't stand the first 30 minutes. It was terrible. It was garbage. The first 30 minutes to this movie. I'm being serious. And that will lead into my next negative. I couldn't stand any of the characters in the first 30 minutes. And even throughout some of the second half as well. Mostly Brie Larson. Who I know 
like I said, it's getting a lot of award praise and everything, but, you know, there were times where I couldn't stand her character. Like, she'll just, I get she's going through something traumatic. I mean, she was trapped in a room by this creepy guy for seven years. I get that. I do. But, that doesn't mean you need to be a jerk to your child and let out all of your anger on him every time you're mad. Or on everybody else. I'm sorry, I don't like seeing that. And it was just awful. I couldn't stand it whenever I saw it on screen. And it made me hate her character. I'm being honest here. So yeah. The kid, the kid will get annoying at parts, especially towards the beginning of the film. Like, her mother makes him a birthday cake because it's a, his birthday. And he complains because there's no candle. You are trapped in the room and she's trying to do something for your birthday. And you're complaining about a candle? Really? 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 Just, I'm sorry. Just, really. So, yeah. And the guy that leaves them trapped, obviously you were supposed to hate his character, but... I did, just his acting wasn't even good in the film as well. The guy who played him, he was pretty bad, so yeah. The logic with the film, the logic is out the window with this movie. And I'll explain why. Okay, so they're gone for seven years and no one bothers to have even look for them or call the police, try to have an investigative team, try to track down where they were. Okay. And, like, um, what else? Oh yeah, I, I'm trying, I can't really remember, but just the logic with the film, it, it's nowhere to be seen, really. It just, there's no logic at parts with this film, so yeah. And it does get boring at parts, in my opinion. There were some boring moments, there were some slow moments at times, and um, yeah, that's just about it, so yeah. Guys, overall, I liked Room still. The second half, I will admit, was way better than the first half. I will admit, when he gets, when they get out of the room, that was way better. I started really liking it. But I like the film. It's good. It's nothing special. But if you love this movie, I am glad you love this film. You know, I, I'm not trying to persuade your opinion on it or anything. I'm glad you love this movie if you love it so much. So, but yeah, just me, I just liked it. So, yeah. So it's time for my official grade on Room, and my official grade on Room is a B. It's a good movie, like I say, it's just good. I don't see how it's some sort of award. I, I think it's being overpraised, honestly. That's just me. I think it's being overpraised. I don't see what's so great about it. I don't see what's so magnificent about the performances. I, I just liked it. It was just good. So yeah, but like I said, if you love it, great for you. I'm glad you love it, so yeah. So, what did you think of Room? Leave it in the comment section below. I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you out later. Peace.